بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Let us start our class insha'Allah with salam to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so please close your eyes and send your heart, your soul to Rawda Sharifa and say As-salatu wassalamu alayka ya habibi ya Rasulullah Ya Allah الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله. Brothers, just to confirm this idea that I said last week when I spoke about this situation, why we close our eyes and send your heart. Before this class, I said with some of my students, we have class today morning here. So one of them he said that I saw Prophet Muhammad in my dreams during these two months, two times. <coughs> this inside the dream. And this brother with his brothers in the family, they used to read every day minimum five thousand times Salah ala Rasulullah. So he said, during these two days ago, he used to sit in his room and read the Rud Sharif upon Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And he said, when I closed my eyes, I saw Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He sat before me, in front of me, in the chair. And he was smiling. This is what I mentioned, brothers. When you do salah ala Rasulullah and you close your eyes, and this is authentic hadith. Man ra'ani fil manam, sayarani fil haqiqa fil yaqab. I had a class in famous masjid in the UK. One of the famous masjid in the UK, Masjid Al-Amana. You know this masjid? Amana Center, Amana Mu'az. The subject of this class was Layla to Safa Ma'al Habib al Mustafa. That means you can say the night of righteousness, the night of uh, kind when I sit with the soul of Prophet Muhammad. So I mentioned about this hadith. One of the brothers, he couldn't realize this idea. He said, Sheikh, do you mean you will see Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in reality? I said, yes. And start argument. Unfortunately, our message nowadays, I say that clearly, like business uh, company, and unfortunately, again, those, the management or the leaders in the masajid, they don't have knowledge. Just they have power with money or with the community or, 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 or with, with, with. So, when you bring the scholars, the mashayikh, the ulama, to discuss with those people, 
and not all the people they have respect to ulama. Here, Allah I say Alhamdulillah. We should say Alhamdulillah, Allah give us opportunity good committee in this masjid, Alhamdulillah. Wallahi everywhere, not in front of you. I said that many times. This first time I meet people respect to ulama. Everywhere, brothers, you find alim, follow the rich man. Alim, follow the businessman. Alim, does that make sense? Here, I saw all the brothers with respect, with humbling. What do you want? We are with you. Go ahead. If you are on the right way, we support you with everything. For that, if I say, Wallahi, I did dua every night for them. It's true. Every night before Fajr, Qiyam, in my prayer, I did dua for them, Alhamdulillah. So, the main point, if I say to people, we will not see Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu I mean, why I will do the root sharif? When you encourage people, we will see Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, inshallah. If you do more and focus, you will see him in reality. Wallahi, one day, I went to Mecca, uh, to Medina, sorry. And uh, I decided to visit Rawda Sharif. I stood up in front of the Rawda, and I gave salam to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu I saw that the Babu Salam, if you stand up this Rawda, this on the left side Babu Salam, okay, and this part, this door, sorry. Bab, that means door. So the, on the left side, the door of Salam, and the other side, close to Rawda, we will leave the, the Masjid Nabal. I stood up in front of Rawda and I gave salam, Wallah. I'm not sleeping, I'm just close my eyes. I saw Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu enter from the Babu Salam. I was surprised, I said, Oh, Sayyidi Rasulullah, I thought you are here. <laughs> we give salam here. He came with Abu Bakr and Umar and Wallahi brothers, he said, are you going to Syria? I said yes. To Sham? I said yes. He said, give salam to all brothers in Sham. Mm -hmm. And he said, give a special salam to your mom. Husband. Subhanallah. This, just I close my eyes. I will not say in a dream. Why I say that? Wallahi not to make sure. This easy to get everyone this level. Easy, <coughs> love. I'm not saying hard. Just keep your heart with love to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Trust me, you will get this level. <coughs> Other idea, one of the brothers he used to bring every time gift to his son. And he used to say, this gift from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu His son, six years old. After a few months, this dad, he said to his son, if you go to sleep and do Salah ala Rasulullah a hundred times, maybe tomorrow you will get other gift. You know the children with the sweet, with chocolate, with, with Every day he used to do that. A few days or a few weeks, this boy, came to his dad, he said, Dad, I saw Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in my dream and he said to give you special salam. Six years old. So this is what I mentioned, brother. Easy to everyone, wallah, but we need love. Real love, not in terms of our We should focus, send your heart, your soul, Try to speak. Now, I did that every Thursday and Friday in our madrasa, alhamdulillah, with the student. Wallahi, last Friday, my heart different with the student. You feel that in your heart, you feel... Today, I said that morning, 
if my phone, the battery in my phone just to 5% and I get the charger I put in my phone, what will be in my battery? One hour to hours will be full. This our situation with the soul of Rasulullah. This charger very strong. Our heart very weak. When you put this connection or make this connection between your heart and the soul of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu you will find your heart different, your manners different, your situation different. I will not change the subject, I will speak about the hadith, but Wallahi, we need this knowledge, brothers. If you have love to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu I swear by Allah, you will find all your life different. Yesterday I heard this story. One of a brother from Albania. You know this Albania? Albania. Why you say Albania in English as well? Albania. Albania. This brother, his age 36 years old. He went to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and he said six years there with illegal visa. <laughs> when he arrived there, he didn't like to leave the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi So the brother from Turkey, he, made, he said this story. He said, I was in front of Rauda outside the masjid. I saw this guy from Albania. He's 36, 37. He went out from Rauda and the police in Saudi Arabia directly they cut, uh, cut him. And he started saying, please, please leave me. They said, no, no, never. So this guy from Turkey, he came to those people, police. They said, I know this guy, why you arrested him? They said, because he stay in the Saudi Arabia with illegal visa. His visa finished from six years ago. And every time when we arrested him, he far away from us. Now we will take him directly to airport to send him to Albania. This guy, he starts begging him, please, please, please. They said, no, never. And they put his hand like this. They said, okay, he said, okay, okay. Just can you turn your face to Rauda? Just I will give salam to Prophet. They turned his face to Rauda. He said, oh my beloved, I have contract with you. And I ask you to make me as my neighbor, your neighbor. Those people, they want me to be far. I left my mom, my dad, my family, my job, just to be your neighbor. Ya Rasulullah, please keep me with you and fell down. Those people, those police, they said, he is there, he is there. And one of them, he kicked him in his <coughs> foot. And they found this man, it's not fake. They called the ambulance, the ambulance came, they said this past, uh, died 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu answered him and he kept him, his neighbor, with him. <laughs> the police there, this Turkey guy, he said, please, I would like to share with his janazah. The police there, no one share. We will get this janazah and we will put him in the baqiyah next to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we will ask Allah to forgive our mistake for the sake of Him. This when you have a strong connection with the heart of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I said that many times, brother. Try to get this sweetness in our heart. Try to get this connection. Try when you are in the good situation, speak with your beloved. Try when you are in the hard situation, speak with your beloved. This is what I want, Wallahi, this level, all of us to get, not just to ask, no, because we love him, because we try to follow him with everything. He left his mom, he left his dad, he left his job, just to be neighbor to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is not old man, 36, 
When he came to Saudi Arabia, he was 30. That means strong, young man. Unfortunately, nowadays, if you say to anyone, come to sit to do the Sharif 500 times. Oh, 500, Allah. And after that, we will say, oh Allah, please, for the sake of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is the sake? Why your heart doesn't has or have this strong connection with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? This is what we need, the brothers. When we have this strong connection with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, trust me, everything will be easy in our life. I said this story many times. Some people, they say, look, 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 all the class stories, and all these stories may be not right. <coughs> Allah, this brother is with you, here with us. He is with us. And with Allah, this is what happened with me, not in dream. I said that story many times to the committee here. One day, I was in Mecca. And we traveled to Medina. We spent three, four days. The leader of a group, you know, we go to Umrah and Hajj with the groups. So the leader of our group, he said we will travel to Sham, to Syria, on Thursday. I traveled with about 30, 25, 30 young men. All of them between 20 to 28. All of them, this first time they visit Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all of them, they said, please, Ustad, could you ask the, this uh, leader to delay our travel just to tomorrow we, we would like to pray for uh, Jum'a prayer in the masjid of Rasulullah I went to that guy he's very nice he said wallahi Sheikh Fadi if I want to delay brother Mahmoud knows that I will pay too much money for this one day we decide we will pay this money you will not pay anything from you we will pay this money for hotels for the coach for everything he went subhanallah the people they not police they care for the hujjaj and the people they go to umrah special uh, group in mecca in medina they said we cannot delay sorry you have to travel today thursday wallahi i went to rawda wallahi i said ya rasulullah we would like to pray friday with you but those people, they don't allow to us to pray with you. Wallah. And give salam and we go to, we went to hotel. We prepare everything, take the bags, put in the coach, and we try to leave Medina. I swear by Allah, 10 meters will be outside the, the you can say direction of Medina. Boundary. Boundary? The boundary of Medina. 10 meters, wallahi 10 meters. Like here and that wall. The coach got accident. No, we recited Surah Al Yasin, wallahi, at that time. No one get any, any trouble. Just the coach get accident with car and the coach stop here. They called the police in Medina. They tried to find other coach. They, they didn't. <coughs> wallahi, one of the police, he said, you know, Wallahi, if you pass this 10 meter, we don't have, you cannot ask us to bring you back to Medina. But now you are inside Medina, we must to prepare hotel for you and your group, and we must to prepare food for you and your group. Wallahi, brothers, Wallahi. Three minutes far from Masjid Nabu. We pray Fajr, Friday, and Dhuhr. Listen, the coach come after Dhuhr prayer. In this, you can say randomly? No. Coincidence. This, when you have love, Wallahi brothers, all this story. Yesterday I said this story, one of my friends. Last Hajj, 2013, 2012. You know the war started in Syria. 
and no one, no one allowed from Syria to travel to Saudi Arabia. I asked Brother Mahmoud, I said, yes, if you go to system in the airport, Syrian people cancel. We cannot accept them in the system as well. I went to one of my friends, I said, brother, I would like to go to Rawa, to Masjid in Rawa. He said, Wallahi, Sheikh Fadi, it's impossible. Impossible, no one Syria, from Syria will go to uh, Saudi Arabia. Wallahi, I have a class on Tuesday, Tafsir class. I enter to Masjid, one of my Student is about 40 45 years. He saw me a little bit sad. He said, This in the third of the Hijjah, brothers. Wallahi. In the third of the Hijjah, that means Hajj after six days. He said, Sheikh Fadi, why you are sad? I said, Indeed, Wallahi, I miss Prophet Muhammad. I hope to travel to Medina. He said, I know some people, but the condition, you will travel, they give you visa, but the visa, you must to pay, wallahi, $8,000. I said, I am ready. Wallahi, brothers. I said, I am ready. And the condition, not during the time of Hajj, after Hajj, you know, after Hajj will be a little bit easy. After Hajj, you must to travel. I said, accept, because I want to visit Medina. This on Tuesday, Wednesday morning on Fajr, one of my friends, he said, Sheikh Fadi, in Lebanon, in Beirut, the uh, embassy of Saudi Arabia maybe will give you visa. Try. <coughs> the world start in Syria. And at that day, Wallahi brothers, one of the big officers in the army of Lebanon uh, get bombed in the Lebanon and the situation in Lebanon very hard. I wake up about 9 morning and directly to Beirut. Wallahi, I get visa for me, my brother, my sister, my mom with $100. <laughs> I swear by Allah. This in the 5th of the Hijjah. In the 6th of the Hijjah, they said, no, any aeroplane. What shall I do? I said to my brother, are you ready to travel in our car? He said, ready, Bismillah. But I cannot take my mom because she is very ill at that time. In aeroplane, easy, but in the car, you know, you need minimum 36 hours driving. Listen, brothers, wallahi, I swear I'm in the masjid. We took the car directly to Saudi Arabia, about 1,800 kilometer. I swear by Allah, many times I drive the car, I'm sleeping. I swear by Allah, sleeping. Because we need to arrive this in the 6th of the Hijjah. We arrived to Mecca, in the 8th of the Hijjah, Wallahi, we do Tawaf al Qudum, go to hotel, get shower, go to Arafat. That's it. But what happened before to arrive to Mecca, we should pass in Medina. The friend with me, he said, Sheikh Fadi, let us go directly to Mecca. We will come back after Hajj to visit Prophet Muhammad. I said to that brother, if you want to go, go. I will not go to Hajj without permission from my beloved. Wallahi, directly I went to Medina. At that time, no one in Medina, maybe 100 people, eight of uh, all the people in the Hajj. Wallahi, I swear by Allah, since I arrived to Rawdah, I heard the voice. If all the governments in the world will not allow to you to come to us, will bring to us if they want or, or if they don't. In Arabic, If all the governments in the world will not allow to you, will bring you. 
I went, I stood up in front of the I spent about one hour, then I traveled to Hajj. Why I say this story, brothers? Just to know, when you have this connection between your heart and the Prophet, you are the strongest. Nothing in the world. Brothers, if you have one of your children and you have just this son, just this son you have, and you love, you love him very, very much. And I said with your son, and your son, he said, my dad, please, can you help this man? What is the help? Can you give him five pounds? What you will do? This our situation with our beloved Prophet. All this dunya, less than five pounds in the court of Allah. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu <coughs> if you come to Allah with this way, Allah will not reject your, your question, your dua. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. An Abi Hurairat radiyallahu anhu qal qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam إذا أحسن أحدكم إسلامه فكل حسنة يعملها تكتب له بعشر أمثالها إلى سبعمائة ضعف وكل سيئة يعملها تكتب له بمثلها. This other hadith but same idea of the hadith of last week. If anyone convert to Islam, if anyone go in the Islam with the strong way with real Islam not like our Islam nowadays I mentioned many times brother if I say I am professional driver and you said okay can you tell us which is the one of the fuel and what which one the brake uh, I don't know okay can you open the door of the car Wallahi, we have many buttons here. Yeah? Try which one. You will not accept. This is our situation. We are Muslim. If I ask you about Islam, say, Shaykh, Wallahi, I don't know. What are the pillars of Salah? I don't know. What are the pillars of fasting? After 30 days, inshallah, maximum more than a little bit, 30 days, we will get fasting. Siyam. Do you know what are the pillars of Siyam? Yeah. And you are Muslim. Yes. With tongue, with shame. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, when you are real Muslim, every good deed will multiply 10 till 700 times. I said last week, you pray one rak'ah in the court of Allah, Allah will give you 700 rakah reward and maybe more Wallahu wasi'un alim Prophet Muhammad sallallahu taught us Allah will care for your charity maybe you pay 5 pound 10 pound Allah will increase this money <coughs> till the day of judgment you will find this money in your account million pound oh Allah Indeed, I didn't pay this money. Allah will say, yes. Do you remember when you paid this 10 pound with ikhlas? Yes, I increased this for you. This is what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu taught us on the day of judgment, Allah will call anyone from the nation of Rasulullah and some of them they will find in his account, he built 100 masjid, he built hospital, he made special house for orphan. He said, Oh Allah, this is not my papers. This is not my account. He said, No, my slave, this is yours. Oh Allah, indeed, I didn't do all of them. Allah will say, Oh my slave, did you have the intention or of the, all of those? He said, Yes, indeed, I hope if I get money to build many, many messages. 
I hope if I get money, if I had money to build hospital for the sake of you, I hope to make special place for orphan. I hope with real intention, with sincerity, ikhlas, Allah will give you reward. Brothers, this is what I mentioned last Friday. Akram, the generous, the generous. One hasana, I will multiply this one hasana till minimum, minimum ten times. If you have real sincerity, you will maybe seven hundred times. Subhanallah. True, the generous. And if you do any bad things, bad actions, we will accept, we will write just one sayyidah, one bad deed. One. Any bad deeds, why you don't multiply? Because he is the generous. So the question, there is narration of hadith. وَيْلٌ لِمَنْ غَلَبَتْ أَحَادُهُ عَشَرَاتُ If Allah will write every bad deeds, one. And every good this thing, and on the day of judgment, those they will be their bad deeds more than good deeds. I mean, this true. Those people are the worst in the world. Does that make sense? Subhanallah. And this idea give us other idea, brothers. Some of you, he pay money. He came to me. He said, Sheikh Fadi, please this money for the masjid. Please, we need to finish this area. The committee, all of you here, we didn't collect from the public money for this ministry. SubhanAllah, they try between them to solve everything. And I know, Allah, they are in the hard situation. But they don't ask people like other masajid, as I said, like business. Please, come. You make the masjid like business, just to announcement here and here, and go to other masjid and collect money for masjid. Who would like to share? You have to get this power from your heart. <coughs> I'm happy with these brothers. He came, he said, Sheikh Fadi, he is from Somalia. He said, I am carpenter. Would you like to make these shelves outside? I said, Yes, Bismillah. He did that by himself. Other brothers, he came, he said, Sheikh Fadi, this is money, please. More than 1,500 pounds. This is for this area of Hulu. As our brother, he died, said, don't worry, Sheikh Fadi, inshallah, before Ramadan, we'll finish. These brothers, wallahi, wallahi, I feel envy with them. I hope, wallahi, brothers, I hope if I have money to say, don't pay anything, I will serve them. Allah knows our intention, inshallah. But it's not enough if you are professional with any kind of job, come to Sheikh. Even if the masjid full, come to Sheikh and ask, Sheikh, what shall I do for masjid? I am professional in painting. I am professional in electricity. I am professional in this and that. Come, this is your religion. Even if we don't ask you, with this intention, you will get reward. What do you think for those they spend from their money, from their time, they are busy, they come here, they bring the work up, they spend it from his time. He likes to see this masjid as the best in the world. Subhanallah. No. Second hadith quickly, inshallah, an Aisha, and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, adakhala alayha wa indaha mara'a, faqal. من هذه قالت فلان تذكر من صلاتها قال ما عليكم بما تطيقون فوالله لا يمل الله حتى تملوا وكان أحب الدين إليه ما دام عليه صاحبه إن شاء الله أود لي بس حديث the next week but just quickly the idea the idea of this hadith Allah order us to work as our power. But as I mentioned in the previous hadith, order you to work as your power. 
but he will give you the reward as his power. Oh. Allah ordered us to work as our power, but the reward as his power. قُلْ كُلٌّ يَعْمَلُ عَلَى شَاكِلَتِهِ Our situation, we are very weak. But his situation, we are the, the strongest. He's the generous. You pay one pound. Oh Allah, my account, 5,000 pounds. I spend 200 pounds for the city. That's good. That's good, 200 pounds. But in the court of Allah, maybe this, wallahi, more than 10 billion pounds. Because his account, not like our account. His power, not like our power. Does that make sense? Do you understand me, brothers? <coughs> so this, inshallah, we'll talk, inshallah, in the next week. Sorry, I took a long time, but wallahi, every idea we need. Keep your heart with a strong connection with your beloved the Prophet Muhammad and do as much as you can. Good deeds, because this good deeds, inshallah, will multiply in the court of Allah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وعملا متقبلا يا ارحم الراحمين. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين. يا الله. You give us permission to say this class. To say every single word in this class. Please. Make this word as a benefit to all our brothers, Ya Arham al And give us strong connection between our heart and the heart of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah, we beg you to keep our tongue, our heart busy with your dhikr and with the root sharif upon Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah, he is your beloved and we are your slave. Please. We beg you to make his love more than everything in our life. We beg you to help us to follow him. We beg you to give us permission to see him every time. Give us permission to see him in our dream and in reality, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, please keep us on his way, Ya Arhamar Rahim. Keep us on his sunnah, Ya Arhamar Rahim. Ya Allah, you give Sahaba permission to see him. And you put his love in our heart. You put that love in our heart, yeah. yeah. Please increase this love in our heart to meet him in this dunya and hereafter. Ya yeah, Allah, please prepare our heart, our soul to be from the group, the group closest to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in the paradise, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, please accept this class for the sake of you. Help us to practice this knowledge in our life. Help us to practice this knowledge in our life. To give good image about Islam. Ya Arham Allah. Ya Allah, please give shifa to all the brothers who have an Islam. Ya Arham Allah. Ya Allah, please give special mercy from you to all the, bro the brothers who passed away, Ya Allah. Make their grave as a part of paradise. Especially to the mother of a brother Haj Abdul Malik, Ya Allah. Make her grave as a part of paradise, Ya Allah. Allah. And give him good health with his family. Mm -hmm. Especially to Brother Sabir with his family. Brother Nanu with his family. Mm -hmm. Brother Zashim with his family. Brother Mahfouz, Hafiz, all the brothers with their family. And especially to Brother Mahbub, Ya Allah. Give him strong, strong faith, good health with his family and his children. Brother Faisal. All the brothers here. Ya Allah, please, we beg you to give Brother Azhar with his children, with his family, strong faith, Ya Arham al -Rahim. Ya Allah, please give Shifa to Brother Shihab. Ya Allah, prepare his heart, his body to be a big scholar with his brothers, Ya Allah. Nur and Siraj, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, please give Brother Saeed all his desire on your way, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, prepare him to be as a big scholar and keep us with one team 
to show all the world the real Islam in our life. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى سَيِّدِنَا